The Jefferson County Basketball Showcase is back and better than ever on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Featuring Waltonville, Weber Township, Woodlawn, Wayne City, and Cesar Valier. The Showcase is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The Showcase is also sponsored in part by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. The Collision Pros at Cesar Auto Body. Newell Furniture and the General Store in Woodlawn. Red Lake College. It's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu. And by Coach House Garages. Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. State Farm Agent Scott Owens. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And People's National Bank. With the Coach House Garage's pregame show, the showcase starts now. Well, welcome into Waltonville High School tonight. The Waltonville Spartans host the Carlisle Indians in a non-conference game on in here on a Tuesday night on the showcase here on WMIX. A very pleasant Tuesday evening, wherever you may be, listening in on 94.1 WMIX-FM or a live audio streaming away at WMIXSports.com. I'm Dennis Rinsk. going to be bringing you play-by-play, bringing alongside in for the color commentary, Mike Richardson. And, Michael, this is a non-conference game. Very interested parties not only here tonight, but others around the area watching the game and watching this outcome as far as these two teams in this big early season matchup. Absolutely. Uh, Andy Palmer brings the team in with a 3-1 and one record, and everybody knows the Waltonville Spartans. 6-0 and on this young season. They made the, the trek down to Christopher and took care of business down in their tournament early. And then they've been in the Midland Trail getting caught up with uh, new acquaintances now. And uh, they've ran the gamut there with three victories against Noble, Sandoval, and North Clay, all conference foes. So non-conference right in the middle of your conference schedule. So this ought to be very entertaining for us to take take part in and bring it back to the listeners. Coach House Garages sponsors the pregame show that you're listening to right now. If you're in need of a garage, protect your car, prize possessions. Coach House Garages has the building for you. Call Daryl Sheridan at 244-1061 for a free on-site estimate. Both teams on the floor warming up tonight. The referees are here. The fans are here getting their last goodies in an intermission before the start of this varsity contest. we got to get some goodies in as well. We need to take a break when we come back. We'll talk more about these teams and maybe the schedule around the area as well. You're listening to Walt Bill Spartans Basketball on the Showcase on WMIX. A coach house garage is money well spent on craftsmanship that's sure to get compliments. Don't cut corners on your garage. It adds value to your home. That's why you need to see the professionals at Coach House Garages. Choose from a variety of Coach House Garage designs or they'll build one to your design. For a dealer near you, check the yellow pages in Mount Vernon or go online to coachhousegarages.com. More than just a garage. More than just a garage. It's a Coach House. I know you've heard about mortgage rates being all-time lows, but have you done anything about it yet? Hi, I'm Rick Pig, mortgage lender at Community First Bank. There's never been a better time at buying a home or refinancing an existing mortgage. The sooner you act, the more you save, and we'll be there to help you through every step of the way. For more information, visit us at comfirstbank.net or stop by one of our five locations. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. For more scores and insight, follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Now, back to the showcase on WMIX. You can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're up and running already here tonight, posting or tweeting some stuff as well. You can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. Danny Zawinski and Mike Richardson back in Waltonville here on the Coach House Garage's pregame show. If you're looking for a garage builder who will build a quality garage at a fair price, with a five-year written warranty and financing available, then a Coach House Garage is for you. Call Daryl Sheridan at 244-1061 for a free on-site estimate. The Carlisle Indians come in this game with a record of 3-1. and one. And to get the 3-1 and one at this point, what they've had to deal with the last couple of years, or I shouldn't say last couple of weeks, is amazing between the flu, injury, and team, players leaving the team. Mike, this is a team that probably three weeks ago was a lot different looking than it is tonight here at Waltonville. Well, I remember always the bad things that happen. You know, you work all summer long to get things in place and pretty well have an idea of what you're looking at team-wise and rotations even in the end. And then, you know, the season starts, you put all that hard work in the first month. The flu bugs are going to happen. That is uh, 
that's just something that's going to hit every team somewhere down the line this year. But, you know, we got one young man out with a broken hand and one coming off an injury, and now a couple more still with ongoing flu symptom here tonight. Uh, it's just not uh, – Andy Palmer's – I've seen him in better moods, let me put it that way. Well, yeah. And he's a pretty jovial guy. And uh, But, uh, yeah, it's a little stressing here for him this evening. Well, he – and I, I talked to him before the game for quite a while, going back to the old Benton days where I was at, did the BIT and stuff, and got to know each other pretty well. And, you know, we were talking about the things going on, and he said just one of those things in coaching, you you can be prepared for anything but not prepared for everything, and that's what he's dealing with for this team. However – they get off to a start in their own Kaskaskian Classic, beating Greenville and Hillsboro, and then losing to a good SHG team, but then come back with a winning conference over a Freebird 62-59, so kind of trying to find their way here. But it's one of those deals where in Carlisle with injury tonight, you know, you look at a big thing as Matt Hilmus is out. He's a junior averaging nine and a half a game, basically ten points. That's a chunk to take out of a team. When you look at their schedule, they haven't they busted a couple of times up in the 70s and 80s, but realistically, 10 points on this team is a lot. Yeah, and that's what they're going to have to overcome now. And Waltonville uh, has played very consistent on the scoring column. They have they have been average as a team in mid 50s to low 60s in most of their ball games. And now you look at that composite score there. You take away the first couple of game blowouts that they had. You know they're back. Carlisle's now in the 40s and 50s, and now you're taking 10 points away from that. And they are very balanced. Becker, 13 points. Zachary with 10 points a game. Uh, Helms, he has nine, has right at 10 points a game. So they've got the balance before you're taking a big chunk of your offense. And that's taking not taking anything away from his defensive capability as well and rebounding. So, you know, very interesting setup here tonight. And the Waltonville Spartans got to be – licking their chops, wanting to go to 7-0 and on this young team. Waltonville right now, as you said, really off to a fantastic start here. and 6-0 and on the year, they get three big wins at the Christopher Tournament, winning that tournament, first time I can remember them being in it before and then now, and then get three conference wins, last one against North Clay, 61-55, probably a little closer than what most people thought that would be, but again, 6-0 and playing well here at the beginning of this season. We'll talk more about the Waltonville Spartans here in a minute. We need to take another break. When we come back on the Coach House Garage's pregame show, more about the Spartans in this beginning of the season in 2012-2013. You're listening to Waltonville Spartans Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. Newell Furniture in Woodlawn is everyone's favorite Santa with a wonderland of Lazy Boy recliners, reclining sofas, sectionals, glide rockers, cool gel bedding by Sealy, TV consoles, bedrooms, dining rooms, Paula Deen, and more. All holiday sale price with an extra 10 to 15% off store wide. And you'll find a sleigh full of great gifts and home decor, including 20% off all holiday trims at the general store. Shop Newell's for free delivery, free gift bagging, and savings galore. Hi, this is Joe Gliosi, commercial banker for People's National Bank in beautiful Mount Vernon, Illinois. People's National Bank has served local businesses and farmers for over 100 years. With a wide variety of deposit and loan products, we have all your banking needs covered. From opening or expanding a business to purchasing a farm implement for the upcoming season, People's National Bank is here to help. Stop by today and let us show you what a true community bank can do for you. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois farmers and businesses since 1909. Member FDIC. Sasser Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sasser Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sasser Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sasser, or call 625-3523. That's 625-3523. When an emergency happens, time is everything, and you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital. With our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge, the entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, Call 911. Daily schedules, scores, and more. Find WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the showcase on WMIX. WMIX Sports is at Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. We put content up there all the time, schedules, scores, pictures, and whatnot. Got a couple here today. 
one of the Spartan logo and one, of course, tonight at the gymnasium as we get ready to go. Walton Mill Carlisle, Coach House Garage's pregame show. If you're in need of a garage to protect your car, prize possessions, Coach House Garage's has the building for you. Call Daryl Sheridan at 244-1061 for a free on-site estimate. Mike, the Walton Mill Spartans, as we were saying, back in at 6-0, first-year coach Brian Gamber rolling here. Has Carlisle tonight, Waltonville, or I should say Woodlawn Friday night, Hamilton County, and then, of course, the, Ham- the SV Holiday Tournament. It's a team finding their stride early, some veteran leadership from the likes of Trey Widges, Jordan Hale, and Matt Rogers. Yeah, those are three guys that saw a lot of RC action that last year for sure, and, and as in their sophomore years as well. So nothing's new to them, and when it comes just now, the coaching change has taken place. But, you know, they really enjoy playing the game of basketball. We've watched them many, many times over the years, and, uh, now you got to find that fourth and fifth starter and try to find that reserve rotation now that they're coming up with. And uh, we're going to see a little bit of that tonight. But uh, Ryan Gamber off to such a good start. We I spent quite a bit of time talking to him before the game. He's been real pleased and happy with the progression that's been made. Uh, seems like everybody's getting along pretty well. He knew their schedule, uh, how it was going to go. He, he couldn't help but look at the Woodlawn date on the calendar, and we've alluded to it a couple of times. It will be this Friday night at Woodlawn. That'll be the meeting, and uh, we talked a little bit about that. So uh, he just said it should be fun and exciting. He's looking forward to it, uh, but yet he knows he's got a good Carlisle team here in front of him here tonight to take care of business with first. And it's a rather tough schedule. Carlisle tonight at Woodlawn at Hamilton County next on Friday night at Hamilton County Tuesday, home against Crab Orchard. So this team is not backing down from anybody here with the talent they have. They're playing a tough schedule through that Cesar Holiday Tournament. And we talked a little bit about the Cesar Holiday Tournament, how things are going now with these final few games and when the documentation was all sent in and the paperwork done and the the draw and the names and the times will be announced hopefully this week for that tournament. And I know with the regular season going on, but still a lot of the coaches in the area, a few coaches here watching this game tonight, uh, they can't wait till the holiday tournament rolls around as well. Friday also a big day because that's allegedly. I always say allegedly when they bring these things out, like where the regional where the postseasons are at, where you're assigned, and where the pairings are at. Because it's supposed to be Friday, everybody finds out where they're going in the postseason. But I always stress allegedly because you never know because of the fact that the IHSA does take their time on things, as they say. Well, we found that out last year. I mean, everybody waited around with bated breath on supposedly the Thursday last year that it was supposed to be announced. And, I mean, the hits had to be in the zillions. You know, everybody waited, and then nothing happened. They did delay that one. So your wordage is probably pretty good. So uh, we all have to just wait and see on that. But, yeah, they have changed things in the past right at the last minute. You know, hey, they control it, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, everybody's just got to take their time and try to find it, but uh, we'll see how that works out. Well, I mean, they know people like you and I will hear refresh 6,000 <laughs> times on Friday afternoon, but uh, I should say that because you know it's going to come about 4.58, 4.59, and 30 seconds, somewhere along that line. That's where it's going to go. Tomorrow night, showcase goes to Galatia. The Woodline Lady Cardinals will play Galatia tomorrow night. Two games, JV and Varsity. Thursday night, the showcase heads to Wayne City a couple of games. We have the second game, which will be at 7 o'clock, Z.R. Weber Township. The first, third game, Wayne City Patoka Friday night. Mike and I go to Woodlawn. There, I hear there might be a game Friday night. Waltonville and Woodlawn, nice to see it mean something for the conference instead of just bragging right. Both teams lined up for the anthem. We'll take a break. Come back from the Coach House Garage's pregame show for the starting lineups and the opening tip. You're listening to Waltonville Spartans Basketball on the Showcase on WMIX. I'm meteorologist John Fear with a look at your next rad weather. Clear and cold tonight, low down to 19. Bright sunshine tomorrow up to 46. Clear tomorrow night, cold again down to 22. And sunny for Thursday, high 50. Friday, partly sunny again up to 50. Saturday, some rain is possible, high 54. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussion, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday Sports Show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need. 
like no one else can. It's your best option this winter sports season. The Saturday Sports Show on WMIX at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. Hi, this is Susan Sahaki with People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. People's National Bank is a true community bank that specializes in offering a wide variety of products to suit a wide variety of people. We offer free checking, interest checking, certificates of deposit, home loans, business loans, online banking, mobile banking, and much, much more. Stop by any of our People's National Bank locations or visit us online at peoplesnationalbank.com. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC. Talk to your neighbors, then talk to State Farm agent Scott Owens. See why State Farm insures more drivers than GEICO and Progressive combined. Great service plus discounts. State Farm wants to get you all available discounts. That's why we apply the savings automatically during your quote. Want confirmation that you're getting all the discounts that you're eligible for? There's a State Farm agent right here in Jefferson County who's always happy to help. See Scott Owens in Mount Vernon or call 242-3770. We're worldwide. This is the Showcase on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Presented by Community First Bank. Welcome to the starting line, sponsored by People's National Bank. Stop by People's National Bank and let them remind you what banking with a local family-owned bank is all about. Visit a branch near you or log on to peoplesnationalbank.com. People's National Bank, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. I'll turn it over to Mike Richardson to get the starting lines for this one. Thank you very much, Danny, and for the Carlisle Indians coming in a nice ball game with the three and one record. They'll be starting with senior number ten Tyson Bainey, another senior number fifteen Cody Hills, a junior number twenty four Alex Boss. Another junior, 30, Logan Zachary, and another junior in the start. I have three juniors in that lineup, number 40. Wanye Walker will be the fifth starter for Andy Palmer's Carlisle Indians. He's assisted by Randy Dula and Seth Noloff. And for the Waltonville Spartans, as we talked about on the pregame show, they come in tonight's lineup with the 6-0 and record, Derek Wisman. He'll be wearing number 13. He's a senior. A junior, number 22, Hunter Coggins. Senior, number 23, Matt Rogers. Another senior, 24, Trey Widges. And Jordan Hale. He wears number 5, 25. He's also a senior. And the Spartans are coached by Brian Gamber and assisted by AD Eric Widges. And Eric always does a good job of making sure we have everything we need before broadcast. So kudos to him as well. And, uh, that's the starting lineup tonight. Having some access to your account anytime, anywhere with online banking from People's National Bank. Log on to peoplesnationalbank.com, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender, as you can hear the noise and the music and the pop and the circumstance in the background. One thing missing, though, Mike, lights don't go out, no spotlight. I don't know what happened, but there's none of that this year. We miss that here at Waltonville. Well, I tell you what, we got used to that. We all had our little pins with us with the little flashlights, and we were ready to go at any time. But... Yeah, that's uh, with these new lights, you can do those things, but uh, it's not taking place tonight, so we're going to be able to see everybody, and the officials are going to get this thing going here in about 45 seconds. Well, Bill Spartan cheerleaders on the floor for their final chair. I should say their opening floor chair. I should say i got to get that right. Social media is the way to go with us. If besides listening to us here on WMIX, you can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. That's a great way. We always are putting information on there daily. You can talk with us, tweet with us there. Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. That's also another way because we have Facebook. We put content, pictures, and schedules and scores and everything up there all the time. We also have WMIXSports.com. We score schedules, archives, highlights, videos, all kinds of stuff. Your referees for tonight, Dale Brookins, Ray Bates, and Larry Knowles. Carl Allen, their gold uniforms trimmed in purple. While the Waltonville Spartans in their home whites trimmed in red and blue, Jordan Hale will jump center. This will be against Wanye Walker. As we step in at the bottom of the hour, it's 7.30. Larry Knowles will step in. We'll get ready to go. What should be an interesting non-conference matchup here tonight from Waltonville. Tip controlled by the Waltonville Spartans' Matt Rogers. And Rogers will have to bring it across the timeline himself. To the left wing he goes. Back over on the right wing. With it to Coggins. Coggins and the man against the man and man of Carlisle drives to the right baseline in front of us. Rogers with the pass on the right wing. Cutter Hale back out right corner three ball in the way from Coggins. Short for the iron tip. Rebound Rogers. Shot fake up. Ball glass and in. Matt Rogers gets it started for the Spartans. Two nothing. Nice play for Waltonville. Get an extra possession out of it. 
Carlisle with a basketball on the left wing. Bainey with it inside to Walker. Walker back out front to Hill. Hills. Hills with a basketball. Back inside pass. Tipped and goes to the right corner to Zachary. Zachary to Hills. Back to Walker. Walker inside pass. No one but the pad on the back of the wall. I laughed when I saw Bainey and Hills in the lineup because it seemed like they had played for about 10, 12 years at Carlisle between the BIT and everything else. Just underway here at Waltonville. The Spartans up two zip. Carlisle man to man. Cockles will bring it across the timeline. Handling the ball more this year. That ball stolen away by Hills. Hills goes the other way for the layup. Block shot and a foul. Coggins will pick up his first team's first, and that'll send Hills to the line to shoot two. Pretty nice play by Coggins, but too much body. Yeah, good hustle right there on the play. You turn the ball over down in this front court right in front of us. But man, he never gave up on the play. Ran down hard. Got up with the arm, but got him crossed with the body. Two free throws here. First one is up and no good. While we're sitting here at the bottom of the hour, let's pause for station ID on the showcase. Find WMIX Sports on Facebook. This is 50,000 watts of the showcase on WMIX FM, Mount Vernon, Marion, Effingham. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. Pass to stay legal tonight as Carlisle made one free throw. It's two to one, Waltonville. Jordan Hale for a three on the left wing, long off the mark, rebound to Carlisle. Ball tipped and stolen away by Coggins. Out of bounds, it'll say, oh, it goes back to Carlisle. You're not a number of credit score, Community First Bank of the Heartland. You're a person of business with needs, and through the good and the bad, Community First Bank of the Heartland will stand by you. We welcome in SIJHSAA Executive Director Greg Hale, who's listening in tonight as he travels around southern Illinois. Carlisle with a basketball on the left wing. That's a shot from three up and in by Logan Zachary as he gives Carlisle their first lead tonight at 4-2. to two. Carlisle team out of the Cahokia Conference. They play like the Freeburg, Red Bud, New Athens, Trenton Westland, among others. Columbia as well. Widges with a top of the key. Lou Zip picks it back up, gives it to Rogers. That's a right elbow down the plane, right block, shot, miss, miss the layup. Was open and missed. Expect the contact. Voss gets on the rebound to Zachary, left corner, left baseline. Kicks it back and hits the back side of the backboard out of bounds. Andy Palmer wanted to tip and won't get it. Tip will be don't take the ball behind the backboard and yeah, throw that bad at what it might. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Everybody knew it on that end for sure. Walton Bill with the basketball. Coming across the timeline, Coggins being guarded again by Hills. He'll go left side to Wizenut. Wizenut between the circles, back to the right to Coggins. Coggins holds, goes off a ball screen, pick and roll with Widges. Widges has a foul. That'll be on Wanye Walker, his first. If you can put a logo on it, All-Stars and Stitches can probably print it for your school, company, or organization. They even do apparel. See Big Dave at All-Stars and Stitches just west of Benton High School. Call 435-5555. Trey Widges is at the line, out the pick and roll. Shot good. He'll get another. Widges can do it all. Drive in, shoot from the outside, basically three-year starter for the Spartans. Second free throw up and in. Makes both. He has two. Rogers has two. Waltonville with four. We're tied at four with Carlisle here from Waltonville. Just underway, 540 to go in the first quarter. Hills across the timeline, throws it left wing to Voss. Voss has to corral it in front of the Waltonville bench. Get past right side to Hills. Waltonville man-to-man. Hills out top of the key, Zachary. Closed off by Widges. Gives it to Walker on the right wing. Walker out top of the key. Voss. Plus handed three on the way. It's good. One thing this Carlisle team can do, they can stroke the three-pointer at 7-4 Indian. Well, Voss is very active right there. Got a couple rebounds already, but not afraid to take it down on the break and also sets up and hits that big three. Top of the key with it is Jordan Hale. Goes to the left wing corner. Wizen up. Wizen up back to Jordan. Shot fake. Dow picks the screen. Now the ball tipped and stolen away by Bainey. Bainey with a lot of varsity experience will give Waltonville fits and does there. And it's nine for Waltonville. Under five to go in the first quarter. Brian Gamber stands up and calls elbow right now. Coggins will bring it across the timeline. He leaves it for Widges. Widges has it on the right wing. Goes to the middle of the floor. Left hand dribble. Back to Hale. Right wing. Guarded by Hill. Hale goes to Coggins. Stop the key. Coggins down the lane he comes. On the dribble, open layup, good. Walker didn't come over and close, and Coggins got to the rim and scored. That's a strong move right there. And Carlisle man-to-man before Waltonville had the floor spread out nicely. Here's the basketball on the left wing with it is Walker. Walker out top of the key, Zachary, three on the way, rattles in and out, Hale tipped it, Widges has the recovery. Widges has the dribble into the front court. 
Crowds it on the wing, looks off the defender, layup right side, no good and a foul. Wood just did a great job to lift the defender off. That allowed him just a fraction to be able to get to the rim and score, or try to score, I should say. And that's a good thing when he gets to the free throw line, he can knock free throws down. A lost start we talk about quite often in this game of basketball. Which is with another. He's made three in a row. The WMI Sports Mobile Studios driven here tonight by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. That's how we get to each and every game here on the showcase. Widges will have another. First free, second free throw. Miss Radio Jinx work. 9-7. Oh, well. We won't do that. It's hail right there. Hail. hail. Nice little play. Didn't give up on the play. Jordan says, I'll make up for it. 9-9. Nine, nine. Carlisle quickly the other way. Walker to the rim. Blocked by Widges. Rebound Coggins to Widges. He'll bring it up for the Spartan side at 9. Widges to Rogers in the left corner. Shot fake to the rim. He comes. Right. Block good off the glass. Matt Rogers with two, and that ball went and got lost on the stage. With the referee will blow it dead with 3:45 to go in the first quarter, 11-9. Waltonville on top by two. A little 7-0 run, if I can remember right. By the Spartan, heels across the timeline, right side. Walker holds above his head, top of the key, pass Zachary. He's going to leave left open, shoot a three, and score. It was like he was shooting in a gym by himself there that time. 12-11, Carlisle back into the lead. I think he had to do a double take. I don't think he realized how open he was, but, hey, let it fly. See what happens. Coggins at the top of the key, picks up his dribble in the bad spot, gives to Widges, bounces off his head, now gets it to Widges and Now he'll come back to the middle of the floor. Back to Widges on the right wing. Looking for a screen, gets it from Hale, goes to the elbow to Coggins, left wing three is good. Three goggles go up by the official for Hunter Coggins. It's 14-12, Waltonville back up by two. In this seesaw fair. Hills across the timeline. Right side pass to Bainey. Three on the way. Rattles in and out. Coggins on the rebound. He's had a hand in a lot of things. Coggins will bring it up the floor. I'm on the dribble. Hills with him. Hills has played a lot of varsity time in his career at Carlisle. It throws in the corner Widges. Widges tries to drive baseline. Cut off in front of us. Out to Coggins on the left wing. Three ball open. Good. Three goggles go up again for Coggins. He's in another. It's 17-12. Waltonville on top by five. Across the timeline, left corner, Zachary. With the top of the key, goes to Hills. Holds above his head, right wing pass to Voss. Three on the way from him. The answer is good. If you got the over in this one, you're doing well so far. Step back variety on that three-point right there. Boy, squared the shoulders and went up nice. Oh, it was beautiful. Of course, it always looked better than the left-handers did. Swing in the club and everything else. Oh, Rogers with the basketball on the wing. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Waltonville by two, 17-15. With the basketball, Rogers on that left wing. Just off the top of the key. Now comes to the right, top of the key now. Picks up his dribble, gets it to Coggins in the right corner. Wizenunt just in front of us as we sit on the stage. Wizenunt to Hale. Has it, lost it. Walker had it on the recovery. He's saying he stole it. They get it out front to Zachary. Has to run it down. Throws it back in to Voss. Shot blocked out by Widget. Rebound in the corner off the hands of Bainey. And Carlisle lost an opportunity there to score on a fast break. Well, they've shot themselves in the foot. That's their fifth turnover so far in this first quarter. Black Hawks just some field goal attempts in a tight game like this. One minute, 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Waltonville leading by two with the basketball. That's Coggins out front with it, deep near the timeline to Wedges. Deep right side near the Waltonville insignia. He'll come back over to the top of the key. Left wing, Rogers is left open for a three. It rattles in and out. Walker has the rebound. We'll get you a scoreboard update here in just a moment as Hills comes to the front court, throws it on the wing to Zachary. Top of the key now. He'll throw it right wing to Hill. Hills in the Walker, spins top of the key. Bainey, and we got a pushing foul on Matt Rogers. That'll be his first team second. At the Conrad Allen tonight, Sisney beat Weber Township 53-25. And here in the JV contest, Carlisle beat Waltonville 37-23. That scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. Talk to your neighbors and talk to State Farm agent Scott Owens. See why State Farm insures more drivers than Geico and Progressive combined. That's Scott Owens 242-3770. I believe Alex Voss just snuck in and scored on me, didn't he? Or who was that? That was Cody Hill. Cody Hill. Yeah, okay. yeah Cody Hill. That's a basket. It was inbound. definitely un- uncontested. That's for sure. It was about like me playing defense because I wasn't even paying attention. They ended up bounding it quick. Carlisle tied it up at 17. Waltonville brought it down the floor. It was tipped out of bounds by Carlisle. And it'll be a side out of bounds in the dark, deep corner here on the Waltonville side. That's a tough inbounding position there. 
another junior in the lineup for the Indians, Devin Hicks, number 12. And Waltonville throws it in, throws it away. Here comes Carlisle. Walker to the rim on the left-hand layup is good. It's 19-17. Carlisle back on top by two. 27 seconds to go in the first quarter. Coggins will bring it across the timeline on the dribble to the right side with 20 seconds. On the dribble, guarded by Hill. Coggins with it near the timeline. Has a tip stolen. Out of bounds off of somebody. It's off of Coggins. I'm telling you right now, Cody Hills has played a lot of varsity minutes for Carlisle. He is going to be a pest over there for Carlisle defense. Oh. Two straight turnovers. And the Waltville Spartans caught up with five in the game. Waltville has five turnovers. Mike Richardson got an early baseball Christmas gift. Walker with it on the wing with seven seconds. Top of the key, Bainey. He'll throw in the left corner. He'll throw a three at the horn. Rattles in and out. Tipped around. Walker had it. Lost it. But that's how the first quarter is going to go. End of one here at Waltonville. Carlisle 19. Waltonville 17. You're listening to Waltonville Spartans Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois welcomes Dr. Beth Conrarty to their medical staff. Dr. Conrarty specializes in comprehensive pain management using a multidisciplinary team approach by working with other specialists for optimal diagnosis and treatment of pain. Dr. Conrarty will treat most conditions of the spine, including management of cancer pain. Dr. Beth Conrarty, helping to make life better day after day at the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois in Mount Vernon. Call 618-242-3778. Two new hospitals, trusted physicians, and dedicated staff, it's clear that our local healthcare industry is helping to make our community stronger every day. Hi, I'm Terry Prosize, a commercial lender and healthcare banking specialist at Community First Bank. I'm putting over 20 years of healthcare and business experience to work for our medical community and local businesses. Whether you have an expanding physician practice, an existing business, or hoping to start a new business, I have the financial prescription for you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ida. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing. For more scores and insight, follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Now back to the showcase on WMIX Start of the second quarter here at Waltonville. The Spartans down to Carlisle, 19-17. Danny Joinsky and Mike Richardson alongside. Waltonville will have the basketball. Coggins, Rogers, Widges, Hale, and Wizenut for the Spartans. As they come up the floor, Coggins with it on the dribble. Throws it left wing to nobody in particular. Goes out of bounds. Oh, tipped off of Logan Zachary. He'll remain Waltonville basketball. Wizenut will trigger in in front of the Waltonville fans. Now it's Widges in the left corner. Couldn't get it to Hale. They'll go back around to Coggins. Coggins is looking for Rogers. He left. He now throws the Hale in front of us. Back to Coggins. Ball tipped around. Coggins recovers the Wizenut off his hands. Stolen away by Carlisle. Waltonville a little out of sorts there on that possession. Here comes the Indians the other way. Hills with it on the top of the key. Throws it right side to Voss. Holds now top the key. Zachary. Now left wing pass to Hicks, who is checked in. Thrown inside. To Hill. Back out front, top of the key three from Voss off the mark. Gold jerseys everywhere on the rebound. Zachary had it, swapped it, because with it, it's going away for Waltonville. He gets it to Coggins. 1917. Waltonville down two with seven to go in the first half. There's Hills another tip. He'll stay with Waltonville on the possession. Cody Hills right now, Mike, is test out. I'll tell you what, he is actually. I mean, he is at the center line. Uh, he had his hands involved on that play down there with the offensive rebound. Uh, probably a football player, I would add. I would probably wager on. So, got his football quicks here going on tonight. Well, Waltonville has the basketball. Rogers to Hale on the right wing. Has somebody all over him. That's Zachary. Hale, Hale struggling right now. Gets it to Widges. Glass off the runner. No good. Walker on the rebound. Lost it. Now Carlisle has it. Hicks with it. Stolen by Coggins. Coggins throws it to Widges. Down the lane he comes against Walker. Up and no good, but a foul. Walker's picked up his second. That's the third on Carlisle, and Widges will go to line to shoot, too. Widges back there again with four free throw attempts going on five and six. With locations in Ina Dix, Woodlawn, and two branches in Mount Vernon, Community First Bank, the Heartland is proud to be the official voice of the showcase. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Widges makes the first. He buys to that Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game. Why wait hours in other emergency rooms? Crossroads Community Hospital's emergency room department pledges. You'll be seen by a physician within 30 minutes of your arrival. Mike, there's a lot of notebooks in the stands tonight, I've noticed. Mm-hmm. People That's taking fun. notes. It's that time of year. Widges gets his second free throw. Widges has five points off from the free throw line. Five out of six. Waltonville tied it up in 19 with Carlisle, but the Indians have the ball. Hills across the timeline. 
Left the wing to Bainey. Back out three coming all again from Zachary. No good. Long rebound to the corner. Ooh, got shoved out of bounds. And they're going to keep a Carlisle basketball. Oh, no, he gave it to Waltville. Ooh. From our angle, a little handsy in the get him out. Waltville with the ball. 6.15 to go in the first half. Spartans with the ball. Winchester across the timeline. Throws it left wing to Laird. Holds above his head. One dribble. Now gets it to Rogers. Top of the key. Rogers comes right, now leaves it for Winchester on the wing. Bodies here, Waltonville a little disoriented offensively. They'll reset. Winchester with it. Holds to the top of the key. Looking for Rogers. Lost his hands on the floor. Rogers had it, lost in the foul. Oh, and that'll be on Hicks. And that'll be Hicks' first foul. And the fourth on Carlisle. And Andy Palmer didn't like that. Hicks was really playing good defense right there. Just sort of got tripped up, fell into him, which it is a foul. It it's still foul. Laird with it. Holds top of the key. Oh, there's the timeline. Gets the Widges on the wing. Down the lane, Widges comes, passes, tips out of bounds off of Vaught. And he'll stay with the Spartans. Great call by the official and the mass of humanity. He had to deal with that basketball. Rogers will trigger right in front of us as we sit on the stage. Eric Widges, the AJ here, take care of, taking care of us once again. Hale at the top of the key. Holds above his head, goes left on the dribble. Leaves it for Widges on that left wing. Widges goes off, he doesn't use the screen, gets to the rim, no good. Rebound bodies to the floor. Carlisle guy chasing it, and it'll be off of Carl Waltonville, and it'll be Carlisle basketball. Well, he got everything to do, but the ball dropped. I mean, boy, the penetration dropped the shoulder, went up strong, a little contact, but yet we just couldn't get it to fall. Waltonville right now struggling offensively, as is Carlisle. Two teams scrapping and going at it here in early December. Carlisle with it on the left wing is boss, top of the key to Hicks. Hicks goes left wing to Hills. Hills out top of the key to Zachary. Zachary back to the left side. Bainey comes on the dribble, kicks to Hicks in the corner. Three balls off the mark. Catches the rim. Now goes off the hands of Carlisle out of bounds and will go to Waltonville with 5.04 to go in the first half. Come start a banking relationship with Community First Bank. You won't be disappointed. Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to personal banking with locations in Ina Dix Woodlawn and two branches in Mount Vernon. Waltonville gets it in the widgets to Winchester. Across the timeline, Hicks with a nudge. No call. Rogers in the corner. Rogers will dribble on that left corner and look. Gets to a cutting widgets. Pins his guy down the block. Jump hook. Right side miss. Rogers on the follow. No good. Rebound, Carlisle. That is Voss with it. He gets it to Hills. Hills into the front court up the right side. Back to the middle of the floor he comes. Leaves it for Hicks. Carlisle start running their offense. Now gets it on the right wing to Voss. Ball's closed off by Hale, and he gets the Hills in the corner. Hills gets around Winchester, a little roll with Bainey. Now he's a left wing, three ball in the way. Ball short. Rebound, Hicks flying through the air. Hale recovers, gets it to Widget. Tied at 19, there's not been much scoring. Only two free throws for Waltonville as we approach halfway through the second quarter, and no field goals for either team. Well, uh, turnovers has been okay. I mean, six apiece right now, and just. Uh, just a lot of activity on the defensive end. I mean, these teams are definitely going at it. Carlisle's just a hair quicker, it seems like, than the Spartans are right now. One of those games where you took the over early, you felt pretty good. Right now, not so much. Hale's going to help you, but missed the three. Rebound with it to Hill. Hills will bring it up for Carlisle. Up into the front court, throws in the left wing to Zachary. Three ball on the way. Good. Logan Zachary hit his third three of the game, and Brian Gamber wants a timeout. 3.44 to go in the first half, 22-19 Carlisle, and Right now, the perimeter is pretty wide open for Waltonville as they're letting Carlisle get some shots early. Well, they're trying an in-and-out offense, but boy, I tell you what, that's their 12-3 attempt here in this first half. Five out of 12 shooting, so they're, they're shooting the ball good. And right now, with Walker on the bench, they don't have much on the inside, so they're going with that three-point shot that they can definitely all shoot her. they got five guys in the scoring column already in tonight's game, so... You know, Carlisle's got to do what they can and play that defense. I tell you, the defense has been very, I've been impressed with that, you know, considering all the flu symptoms that's going on. And, you know, a few of them out there may not be at their peak right now, but uh, Andy Palmer's got to be very happy with the effort right down here at Waltonville this evening. Yeah, right now, nice size crowd on hand here at Waltonville. Waltonville side pretty well filled. Carlisle side about half. As this, mid, as this non-conference game here in, in Waltonville on Tuesday night. Winchester will bring it up after the Waltonville timeout, and that's a foul on Hicks. That's his second. The Waltonville crowd to our right. You hear them cheer away at that. 
Community First Bank with more Jefferson County locations than anyone else. Locally owned decisions made here. Proud supporters of Jefferson County with locations in Ida Dix, Woodlawn, and two branches in Mount Vernon. Rodgers will trigger the inbounds in front of the scorer's table, gives it in to Coggins. Coggins will bring it across the timeline. On the dribble, throws it left wing to Rodgers, back to Coggins. 3.28 to go in the first half. Walfield trails by 3, 22-19. Spartans don't have a field goal in this quarter, only two free throws. Coggins on the wing to Rodgers, top of the key, off his foot. It's going to trail away. Widges grabs it near the bench. That is up Carlisle. Widges at the right. Free throw, three-point line, and Widges comes across as he was making his move with the basketball. Got a reach in on Carlisle. Boy, what a nice crossover that was Ooh. right there in traffic. Crossed it over. Couldn't get that shot off. He was held. It'll be walking go Spartan ball right here in front of us. There's an inbound. Widges gets it in the hail in the left corner. He comes to the lane, leaves it for Coggins. Top of the key on the dribble. Goes around a ball screen to the right side. Still on the dribble. Count on, count off now. Coggins picks it up, throws it, stole away by Hicks. Hicks the other way on the right-hand layup around Coggins and scores. Hicks has kind of been a little spark plug. It's 24-19, Spartans down five. Carlisle's defense picking up here, and there they go again. Widges will bring it up. Widges is going to have to bring it up the right side. He's guarded heavily by Zachary. Widges to the right wing, gets a little shove, now gets around him, gets to the rim, shot short, but a foul. That foul is on Hicks. Hicks is not somebody that needs to be blocking shots, would you say, Mike? <laughs> Well, I like the effort right there on the baseline, but, boy, the old saying is you got to know when to say when. And I think if you go straight up defense right there, it just takes these chances of him shooting over. But, boy, tried to be a shot blocker yep. and uh, picked up, I believe, maybe his second or third. Third. I got third foul yep. for him. Walker and Bob is going to have to bring out. Walker back into contest. Hicks was just getting into a rhythm. Speaking of a rhythm, you need to listen to the Saturday Sports Show every Saturday morning on AM 940 from 8.08 a.m. to 10 a.m. Also, audio stream live on the Internet, WMIXSports.com. Guests, and, of course, that infamous or now famous WMIX Sports social media question of the week as Widges makes the back end of two, and it's 24-20. Waltonville gets back to within four. Carlisle with the basketball. Hill throws it right side to Voss in the corner to Zachary. Holds above his head. Waltonville stagnant defensively. Still man. Carlisle a little stagnant and more stagnant than Waltonville. They're not moving as much on offense. Long three that time by Zachary is good. And I'm telling you what, he was at least a step next to the E on Waltonville on the Waltonville side for that three. Yeah, that was long distance Woo. right there. That's his four three, four out of six behind the arc for Zachary. Shot that one almost from the parking lot. Coggins with it on the right wing. Ball tipped in the backcourt. Hills with it. Chases up around Rogers. Rogers pushes him from the back. And that'll be a two shot foul. Rogers did not intentionally do that. Rogers tripped up and was looking to grab him to foul him. Kind of tripped up on his own feet, so it's not an intentional foul. A good non-intentional foul called by Abdul. I was just getting ready to say the same thing. That's just great refereeing right there. There was no intent whatsoever. He lost his footing, and that consequently domino effect and uh, no harm by either player. So the proper call right there. Hills makes the first. The WMI Sports Mobile Studios driven here tonight by Fort Square and King City Chrysler. How we get to all our games. Waltonville down 28-20. Here in the second quarter, the offense has went silent. They do not have a field goal. Second free throw missed, though, by Carlisle. Hale has the rebound, gets it to Coggins to Widges. 1.52 to go in the first half. Waltonville down eight, but with the basketball. Widges to Coggins on the wing. Throws it out top to Key Hale for a three on the way. No good off the mark. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Carlisle. And it'll be Waltonville basketball. Brian Gamber was as shocked as anyone that they got the ball back on that call. He was already looking to go the other way. He'll take the break. Wiz and Nunt inbounds in front of the stage. He'll hold above his head. Waltonville out of a set. Started in the box. Just didn't make the box. Five seconds. Wiz and Nunt didn't get it in. Turnover to Waltonville. Community First Bank, you're not a number. of Credit score, Community First Bank of the Heartland. You're a person or business with needs and through the good and the bad. Community First Bank of the Heartland will stand by you. Carlisle has the basketball up 8, 28 to 20 here at Walt Mill with 138 to go in the first half. Hills across the timeline, goes, leaves it right side to Zachary. He'll dribble back to the middle of the floor, leaves it for Bainey. Bainey throws it in the right corner to Voss. Voss with Hale on him, back to Bainey with 123 to go. Bainey with it, leaves it top of the key to Hill. Hills near the timeline, 118 to go. Carlisle in a spread, looking like they're trying to hold for the last shot. Widges reaches in on the foul. We saw a little of this in the JV game. They were in no hurry at times, 
bring Spartans defense out just a little bit. Boy, get that floor spread here. And this is a wide floor. Uh, well, they rely on a lot of cutting through there, and it worked in the JV game. Top the key inbounds pass from the side to Zachary. Down the lane, kicks it back out to Hills. Over on the right wing, Zachary, they low inside to Voss. On the right box, bounce across Walker. Three ball on the way from Zachary. Short, no good. That's a shot. They ran some time off. I thought they were going to do it, and that ball trickles out of bounds into the corner. And it'll be Waltonville basketball with exactly one minute to go. I can say that because there's exactly one minute. Yeah, I'm always wondering about passing up that six-footer like that and then kick it out to three when all you got to do is just do a heel-toe move and lay it off glass. But, you know, hey, he's been hot all night long, so give him the benefit of a doubt. It's defense again by the Carlisle Indians. Widges throws it away. There's a steal by Walker. He gets it over the left block, up and in by Zachary. And Zachary has eight points in the quarter. He has... 14 in the game. It's 30-20. to 20. Carlisle by 10 with 35 seconds to go in the first half. Widges on the right wing. Holds now to Rogers top of the key. Here comes the three on the way. That's fourth. Rebound to Carlisle. That's Bainey has it. Bainey across the timeline for Carlisle with 24 seconds. Goes left wing to Zachary. Leaves it in the corner. Walker, 10-footer long off the mark. Rebound weak side. Voss. Voss loses it and tips out of bounds and he'll stay with Carlisle. Not sure if that's a shot that Andy Palmer wanted, that line drive 10-footer. Maybe I'm going to back up on that statement I made about a minute ago on that six-footer. Hey, that looked like hey, the only one shot worse than that this week, and I'm not saying it to be mean, but was a free throw on YouTube. Oh, my God. If anybody got saw the free throw on YouTube or haven't, go to YouTube and look up free throw. It'll be right on there. Carlisle with it on the inbound. Hills inside. Walker around the rim. Shot up short. Tips around. Goggins has it on the rebound. Fouled by Walker. 80 feet from the basket. That's a bad foul, one, because Walker just picked up his third. Bad foul, two, clock stops. Waltonville walks to the other end with 1.8 seconds to go to make free throws, possibly. How many times have you seen if that young man makes that free throw, you don't pick up that, or that, not free throw, but that layup right there, you don't get the foul out of frustration. Now Andy Palmer's going to get Walker out of there. Walker will go out. And in comes Brent Johnson. Carlisle this tonight dealing with flu. They got a kid out with the flu. They had a kid that they turned his jersey in the day, and they have a kid out, Matt Hilmus, out with a broken hand. Coggins makes the first. He's had a good first half. He has nine. He'll get another at 30-21. We'll have a scoreboard update at halftime on the Relay College Halftime Show, along with scoring and stats coming up after this half ends on the other side of the break. Roger, should say Coggins makes both. Carlisle gets it in. Here comes a three-quarter court shot. Oh, just to the right of the rim. And the first 16 minutes are in the book. It is Carlisle 30, Waltonville 22. We'll be back with the Renly College halftime show, scoring and stats and everything else. You're listening to Waltonville Spartan Basketball on the Showcase on WMIX. I'm meteorologist John Fear. Could we look at your next rad weather? Clear and cold tonight. Low down to 19. Bright sunshine tomorrow up to 46. Clear tomorrow night. Cold again down to 22. And sunny for Thursday, high 50. Friday, partly sunny again up to 50. Saturday, some rain is possible, high 54. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports or crank us up on WMIX FM. Mount Vernon, Marion, and all of Southern Illinois, a Withers Broadcasting Superstation. We can't believe you missed last week's Saturday sports show presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. To those who tuned in on WMIX or WMIXSports.com, we enjoyed your company. But if you missed the area scores, in-depth interviews with the region's coaches, or missed out on the WMIX Sports question on Twitter and Facebook, the path to forget this is easy. Listen to previous Saturday Sports Show episodes on demand at WMIXSports.com. It's that simple. Or next Saturday morning, you could tune in after the 8 o'clock news. Either way, we forgive Hi, you. this is Nina Reitenauer, Relationship Banker with People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. People's National Bank has the best of both worlds. We are a locally family-owned bank that can offer you the big bank products and services. Products like free checking, online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking. We have the products and services to meet the needs of your personal and family life in today's world. Stop by any People's National Bank branch and ask about any one of our great products. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909, member FDIC. The all-new 2013 Dodge Dart expresses an impressive level of visual drama. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Dodge dealer at King City Chrysler Center in Mount Vernon. Inside and out, the Dart is the most advanced car in its class. Outside, clean lines from nose to tail 
perform its curvaceous silhouette. The unmistakable split crosshair grill accentuates its low, wide stance, and the available full width racetrack style LED tail lamps make an aggressive statement. Inside, Dart includes a number of available class exclusive features, including dual temperature control, ambient lighting, refined soft touch surfaces, and a 7 inch thin film transistor premium cluster display. Come see the all new Dart. SE at King City Chrysler or browse our inventory online at kingcitychrysler.com. There is something for everyone here at King City Chrysler Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon and find us on Facebook. Dig in with full contact coal miner training at Red Lake College. Learn in our new 20,000 square feet coal mine training center. Use real equipment like continuous miners and power sitters and check out the new mine rescue and fire safety training tunnel. Associate degree and occupational certificates available. We're full contact, hands-on coal mining. Real equipment, real life all the time. What are you waiting for? Call 618-437-5321 and get started. This is the showcase on WMIX. The Ren Lake College halftime show starts now. Ren Lake College said to save you thousands of dollars on your education. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu to see which of the more than 100 degree and certificate programs is right for you. Halftime here at Waltonville. Carlisle leads Waltonville 30 to 22. Denny Zawinski is Mike Richardson alongside. A couple of scores. We'll get those in now. Sisney beat Weber Township 53 25. Also, we tell you the JV score tonight was Carlisle 37, Waltonville 23. And at the end of the first quarter, Lawrenceville leads Red Hill 17-7. Those scores brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. So how do you really know your bargain insurance isn't going to cost you big if you have an accident? Talk to someone who knows. With Scott Owens, your State Farm agent in Mount Vernon, call 242-3770 to get to a better state. We'll take a break. Come back. Scoring and stats from this one. You're listening to Waltville Spartans Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. Newell Furniture in Woodlawn is everyone's favorite Santa. With a wonderland of furnishings, all holiday sale price with an extra 10 to 15% off store wide. And you'll find a sleigh full of great gifts and home decor at the general store with buy one, get one half price on all your favorites. Jewelry, scarves, candle jars, salsas, and more. Plus 20% off all holiday trims, tart warmers, willow tree angels, signs. And all tarts are only a dollar. Shop Newell's for free delivery, free gift bagging, and savings galore. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital with our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. The entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit Crossroads. CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. We're worldwide. This is the showcase on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Presented by Community First Bank. I'm at Waltonville. Carlisle leads Waltonville 30 to 22 here on the Red Lake College Halftime Show. Red Lake College, you can get a quality education and save thousands. Log on to RLC.edu to see which program is right for you. Denny Zawinski is Mike Richardson alongside. And I'll turn it over to Mike Richardson for the scoring and stats of the first half. Thank you very much, Danny, for the visiting Carlisle Indians. They had seven rebounds so far in this first half. Not a lot of rebound with some good shooting going on. Seven rebounds leading the way there was Voss with three. They had six turnovers in the first half. Overall shooting, they were five out of seven regular shooting. They shot 15 threes, capitalized six times. That makes a total of 11 out of 22 for overall 50% shooting. They went to the free throw line five times, converted a pair. Had six guys in the scoring column. They got deuces from Bainey, Walker, and Hicks off the bench, who really sparked them, Danny, in that middle part of that second quarter until the end of the half, until he got in that third foul situation. Hills with four, six points for Voss, and the leading scorer for the Carlisle Indians, Jr., Logan Zachary. Uh, he is four out of six behind the arc with the deuce. He's got 14 points of the 30 of Carlisle here at the half. And for the Waltonville Spartans, eight rebounds, three guys with two, Coggins, Rogers, and Hale. They can commit ten turn costly turnovers, four of nine regular shooting, only two of eight 
behind the arc for a total of 6 out of 17. They're only shooting 35% tonight. And where they made hay was at the free throw line. Uh, they went 10 times, converted 8. Two points for Hale. Let a stick back four for Matt Rogers. Trey Widges, six out of eight free throwing for his six points. And the leading scorer, what a good first half he did. He was, had a stick back for two. He was two or three behind the arc and two for two at the free throw line. The junior, Hunter Coggins, he leads the Waltonville Spartans at 10 with 10 as they trail the Carlisle Indians 30 to 22 at the half. At the half. Mike said, Waltonville Trail 30-22, the Renlake College Halftime Show. Renlake College offers 100 green certificate programs for thousands less. Log on to rlc.edu to see how you can save thousands. We'll step out for a break, come back with third quarter and fourth quarter. Maybe overtime, you never know. You're listening to Waltonville Spartans Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. I know you've heard about mortgage rates being all-time lows, but have you done anything about it yet? Hi, I'm Rick Pig, mortgage lender at Community First Bank. There's never been a better time at buying a home or refinancing an existing mortgage. The sooner you act, the more you save. And we'll be there to help you through every step of the way. For more information, visit us at comfirstbank.net or stop by one of our five locations. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Talk to your neighbors, then talk to State Farm Agent Scott Owens. See why State Farm insures more drivers than GEICO and Progressive combined. Great service plus discounts. State Farm wants to get you all available discounts. That's why we apply the savings automatically during your quote. Want confirmation that you're getting all the discounts that you're eligible for? There's a State Farm agent right here in Jefferson County who's always happy to help. See Scott Owens in Mount Vernon or call 242-3770. Back out to the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios on WMIX at WMIXSports.com. This is the Showcase, presented by Community First Bank. Halftime of Waltonville. Getting ready to start the third. Waltonville trails Carlisle 30-22. Denny Swarinski with Mike Richardson alongside, and I'll put Coach Richardson in the huddle. Waltonville down eight. What do they got to do to get back into this one? Take care of the ball. There you go. Uh, I mean, that's just as simple as I know how to put it. Just take care of the ball, and I think your offense will take care of itself. Keep penetrating. And don't be afraid to dish out. I mean, they only had eight three-point attempts in the ball game, two out of eight. They've got some good shooters, I think. They just need to start letting it fly a little bit. Get the penetration, if not kick it out. And uh, Waltonville's done a good job. So I've got to take care of the basketball, and they're going to start it off here in this third quarter. Now, Waltonville needs to get on a run here in this third quarter to get back into it. They go with starters. Oh, that was close. That was really that close. That got a lot of ooze. I got an over and back. That line was sitting right there. Didn't call it. We'll play all. Widges around the ball screen down the lane. He goes aggressively to the rim. No good. Rebound. Tip back. Widges. No good. Rebound to Hill. Hills to bring it across the timeline for the Carlisle Indians. Throws it on the left wing to Bainey. Holds it with a top. The key to Voss. Voss fakes. Now goes left wing Walker. Walker holds above his head. Top of the key to Zachary. On the left wing. Voss now gets it back to Hill. Hills holds above his head. Now throws in the corner to Walker. Walker back out top of the key. Voss comes around. Down the lane he comes. The water's part. He drives that lane and scores. Oh, wow. They call. They call the charge on Voss. They'll wipe off the basket. Turn over to Carlisle. Hey, I'm telling you right now, if they put that half halo in like every yeah, other level, that's exactly, we don't have to worry about that. I, getting ready to say the I same hate thing. when kids I, take charges looking yeah. up underneath through the rim. Yeah. I don't care if it's Waltonville, Carlisle, or 800 other teams that we do. I hate that. I, I wish rim. that was in so bad at every level, and that way everybody gets used to it because that was just a great offensive move. And I'm sorry, you just can't be underneath the basket trying to play defense. Well, Mike and I get off our soapbox. Waltonville brought across the timeline. Wisdom had it lost control. It went out of bounds at half court. It was over and back anyway. It'll go to Carlisle. The WMX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. That's how we got to the game today and every game on the showcase. Walker with it to a backdoor cutter to Bainey. Bainey throws it back out the top of the key to Zachary now to Hill. On the right wing, now he'll throw in the right corner in front of us to Bainey. To get it in the Walker on the block, turns, faces up, Rogers on the block. Rogers has three, Spartans with one in the first, should say, in the second half. Crossroads Community Hospital sponsors the player of the game when this one is over. Crossroads Community Hospital promises... You'll be seen by a physician within 30 minutes of your arrival. They pledge and promise that at Crossroads Community Hospital. Cross should say Carlisle has it. Long three on the way from Bainey, top of the key. Hale with the rebound. 
Gets it to Coggins. He'll bring it up for the Spartans down eight. Haven't had a field goal since the first quarter. Rogers with it on the right wing. Six and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Rogers leaves it for Widges on the right wing. On the E of the Walton Bill Insignia on that side of the floor. Goes around the ball screen. And now gets the Widges tip back to Widges. He gets it back. Down to the floor goes Hills. And shot up by Bain. He gets the rebound to Walker. Walker now back to Hills. And he'll bring it across the timeline. Throws it in the left corner. Here comes a three wide open. Zachary up short. Gets his own rebound. Back out to Hills. Hills goes inside underneath. Shot boss blocked out by Hale. Walton Bill some height underneath there. They can get some done. Block shot. Yeah, definitely they got some length right now and doing a good job on the rebounds early in this quarter. But, boy, that missed layup early and then a wide-open three. And they just can't get anything to fall right now. Walt Carlisle inbound the basketball. Top of the key, it goes to Zachary. He'll come to the right side to a pass to Hills in the corner. They lob inside Walker, and we got a shove underneath. He, who, oh, I thought it was going to be on Walker. Who's going to be on? Oh, it, it is, is on Walker. Walker. Oh, wow, that's his fourth. And that's the second on Carlisle in the half. Goes to the turnover as well with 5.56 to go. So Walker has to go out. That's an athletic body from rebounding and some size. to lose what about it? A foot there? A foot, and you're going to lose 5.56 because he's yep. not going to make another entrance in this ball game until the fourth quarter, and Andy Palmer's hoping he can hang on by this. Laird comes in for Rodgers and gets it to Coggins on the inbounds. Across the timeline, Hunter comes, goes to the right side. Throws it out top of the key, whiz and nut. Holds. Throws right wing to Laird. Laird holds above his head. Now goes right corner. Has the basketball. Now throws it left side pass. Picked off by Bainey. He comes the other way. Widges behind and he gets the foul. And that will be a two-shot foul as Widges will pick up his second. Team second. Now send Bainey the line to shoot two on the hard foul. Community First Bank of the Heartland. We are not a number of credit score. You're a person or business with needs. And through the good and the back, Community First Bank of the Heartland will stand by you. To the free throw line goes Tyson Bain. He played a lot of varsity ball in his career at Carlisle with another half a year plus to go. Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. Great way to get with us. We put content on there. We'll look for your like. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Or go to our website, WMIXSports.com. Bainey hits one out of two. Carlisle goes up 31-22. Here as we move along in this third quarter. Widges throws it right corner to Wizenut. Goes off the dribble, down the lane, left-handed, up and in. Derek Wizenut gets his first point of the basket game, and that's the first field goal for Waltonville since the first quarter. And a nice drive right there to the basket. He's got one to fall. Think about it is, Waltonville had one field goal for a long stretch and still only down seven. Here comes Hicks to the rim, kicks it off to Bainey, back out front, top of the key. Ball three, good. Inside, outside. Alex Voss has nine on three three-pointers. It's 34-24. Man, I tell you what, Devin Hicks, I like him. He's a good player. Fox makes up. things happen. Yep, got a scoreboard update coming up. On the right side, Laird gets it inside Widges. Right block, spins, turns, shot fake in the air is Voss. He just picked up his third. And that will send Widges to the line to shoot two. JB score here tonight was Carlisle 37, Waltonville 23. At the Conrad Allen, it was Sisney over Weber Township, 53-25. At Lawrenceville, Lawrenceville re- leads Red Hill, 29-22, as Widges misses the first. And Mount Vernon leads Carbondale on the AM side, 25-15 in girls basketball. That scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens at State Farm Insurance. Auto insurance is complex, but Scott Owens makes it friendly and simple. When you need it, helping you choose the right level of protection, call 242-3770 to get to a better state. Widges with one out of two free throws. Carlisle quickly the other way, though. They're not laying back. Carlisle reversed the ball around to nobody in particular. Got going too fast for their own self. Third turnover on the Indians here. 4.38 to go in this third quarter. Waltonville trying to take advantage, but yet they've committed a couple unforced errors themselves. Cost them a couple of opportunities during this tight game. The thing about Waltonville, Mike, as I said, they're only down nine. Right. Could have been way worse than what it was. Has it on the side, right side, Coggins with nut in the corner, Laird travels, picked up that pivot foot, you can see it from here, floated those feet. All stars and stitches, if you need t-shirts, hoodies, letterman's jackets, or any type of apparel for your school, organization, or business, see Big Dave at All Stars and Stitches, just west of Benton High School, call 435-5555. Carlisle with it on the right side, Zachary with it on the dribble, top of the key to Hicks. Hicks with it on the left wing to Hill. 
top of the key goes to Bainey. Down the lane, don't know what he was doing. Shot tipped out of bounds, though, by Waltonville, and he'll stay with Carlisle. I think he got in the air was trying to create on the fly. The infamous jump pass. You leave your seat, Ooh. you better find somebody to pass the suit. Well, or you'll be sitting by the coach. Inbounds pass, top of the key, Zachary. He's going to dribble over, and we're going to play. Carlisle had a couple different options there. He even had a delayed option on inbounds. Bainey with it on the right wing, back to Hicks, top of the key. Hicks will throw a right wing to Hill. Inside pass, stolen away by Waltonville. No reach in call. Coggins has it. Trap throws it to Widges off his hand into the front row, right side off of Waltonville. A little bit of what you can do worse, we can do worse better. Wow. Back to back turnovers. There are four each already. Eight turnovers. Turnovers struggling third quarter here by both teams. Waltonville, Winchester will check in. Coggins will go out. And side out of bounds for Carlisle in front of the Waltonville faithful to our right. Where the basketball is hills, top of the key to Voss. Now on the right wing to Hicks, two dribbles to his left. Now top of the key to reverse it all the way around to the left side. That is Zachary. Zachary throws it back to Hicks. Hicks now to the left side to Voss. They go right side to Hill. I've seen this one before. Carlisle will spread you out and try to backdoor you. Seen this many times at the BIT. Hicks with it. There they come on the curl cut. Bainey to the rim scores and a foul. Like I said, they're going to spread you out and try a backdoor, or they're going to get to the rim, and that's exactly what they did as Wizen up picks up his foul. And what a great play that was right there. Across the Spartans. All out towards that center line. Ball chasing. And, boy, one quick move. Bainey at the free throw line. Conventional three-point play. And makes it. He's had a big quarter so far. He has two, three, four in the quarter. And that would be six in the game. 37-25, probably the biggest deficit that Waltonville's had all year long. With a basketball, the Spartans have it. Winchester, 60 dribble up near the timeline, double dribble. Community First Bank location tonight at Dix Woodlawn and two in Mount Vernon. Community First Bank of the Heartlands, proud to be the voice of the showcase. Welcome back to personal banking. Danny Zawinski, it's Mike Richardson alongside. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. Carlisle leads Waltonville 37-25. Top of the key, Carlisle has it. That is Zachary on the dribble. Throws it left side to Hills on the dribble, guarded by Winchester. He gets around Winchester, and that's a hand check. You can see it from here. Winchester a little too handsy that time. His first team fourth. Well, this four-out spread has really caused Waltonville some problems. They've had a hard time defending. Now, tired legs a little bit here, recovering from that halftime, and there's another nice inbound pass, an easy bucket for Voss. Waltonville looks to me that they're mentally frustrated, haven't been able to score, and it's starting to take back on from the offensive end to the defensive side of the ball. Laird across the timeline to Widgets. He goes down the lane with a strong move. Prince is the left, rebound. Well, too strong. Jump ball coming. It'll come to Carlisle. 2.28 to go in the third quarter. Don't forget the Saturday sports show, Saturday morning, obviously, on AM 940, WMIX, as well as stream live audio-wise at WMIXSports.com, guests, and also the WMIX Sports Social Media Question of the Week. You never know what we might ask. Crucial possession right here by the Waltonville Spartans. I, I got a feeling here was about two minutes. Carlisle's probably not going to shoot to about the two-minute mark, and boy, already down 14. Carlisle tried that back door. I've seen Andy Palmer's play book a time or two. I've got a few games of his under my belt. Top of the key with it to Bainey. Well, right wing to Hicks. Now comes back to the top of the key on his left-hand dribble. Left wing with it is Zachary. Throw it inside. Not a good pass. Bodies everywhere, and there's a foul. Zachary was late to the party trying to hustle in there on the floor. Can't fault the hustle, just late to the party. Fourth foul on Carlisle here as Zachary picks up his first. Rogers will come in for Laird. With two minutes to go in the third, Walton go down 39 25. Come start a banking relationship with Community First Bank where you won't be disappointed. Committee First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Bank and Locations at 9 at Dick's Woodlawn and 2 in Mount Vernon. Waltonville has the basketball. They need some points in the worst way. Carlisle's still only up 14 in with the field goal drought. Which is with it. On top of the key. Right side to Wisenhunt. Comes back across. Now throws it Winchester left wing. Carlisle man to man as they've been the entire game. Winchester to Hale for a three on the way. Rims in and out. Rebound to Bainey. Maybe he'll bring it across the timeline. He's looking for somebody to throw it to, and that's Hills. Bainey and Hills, with all that experience, at this varsity level. Top of the key, Voss. There's a three from Hicks on the way. Misses long. Rebound, Jordan, or Widges. Widges will bring it up into the front court on the dribble to the right side. Crosses over. Has to go back and get it as the air went out of the ball. Gets to Rogers on the right wing. 
Rogers moves in to Winchester on the layup, up and in. Justin Winchester scores, and it's 39-27. Waltonville down 12 with a minute four left to go in the third quarter. With it on the left wing is Bainey. They reverse it back to half of the key to Voss. Gets in the left right corner to Hicks. Inside, there's a cutting shot. Voss went up for the shot. Rogers fouled, and Voss will go line to shoot two. Rogers picked up his fourth. Fifth on Waltonville. Just patience right there. A little give and go. A little slip cut. Be aggressive to the basket. Now Carlisle looks a little bit fresher right now than the Spartans do. Crossroads Community Hospital pick a player of the game. Actually, the sponsor. We get the pick. Flyweight hours and other emergency rooms. Crossroads Community Hospital's emergency department pledges to be seen by a physician within 30 minutes of your arrival. First free throw, no good for Voss. He'll get another. Second one up, no good. Vol Smith, rebound Widget. Also should take advantage of this opportunity. Across the timeline comes Widget. Between the circles, goes back to his right down the lane. Wide open layup is good. A lot of standing around by Carlisle, and it makes it now a 39-29 game. As Carlisle with the basketball. They'll throw it on the right side to Zachary. In the corner in front of us, Hicks. He splits a double team, jump ball Widget. And it'll go to the one of the Spartans. Nice play by the Spartans to trap Hicks in the corner. Well, Brian Gamber trying to get his troops in it, but we said it's a two-minute mark. That was a crucial time in the third quarter for the Spartans to make a little run, and Carlisle's the blood. Now, that's two straight turnovers by them, and Waltonville now 22 seconds to go, trying to cut a 10-point deficit here going into the fourth quarter. Widges throws it left wing to Wizen. Now back out to Widges. Widges with it. Hold. Now we'll bring it back out. And Waltonville reset with seven seconds. Widges now to Hale. This thing's bogging down. Widges goes left wing, has to throw up a straightaway three at the horn. It's no good. Three quarters in the book here at Waltonville. It's Carlisle 39, Waltonville 29. We'll take a break and come back with the fourth quarter. You're listening to Waltonville Spartans basketball in the showcase on WMIX. Newell Furniture and Woodlawn is everyone's favorite Santa with a wonderland of Lazy Boy recliners, reclining sofas, sectionals, glide rockers, cool gel bedding by Sealy, TV consoles, bedrooms, dining rooms, Paula Deen, and more. All holiday sale price with an extra 10 to 15 percent off store wide. And you'll find a sleigh full of great gifts and home decor, including 20 percent off all holiday trims at the general store. Shop Newell's for free delivery, free gift bagging, and savings galore. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital with our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge. The entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit CrossroadsCommunityHospital.com com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, call 911. Daily schedules, scores, and more. Find WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the showcase on WMIX. Three quarters in the book here at Waltonville. Spartans Trail Carlisle, 39-29. Denny Zawinski with Mike Richardson alongside. As we start the fourth quarter, Carlisle has the basketball. That's Hills to the right. Now back to the top of the key to Voss. Voss to Hills. Now skip past left corner to Bainey. Bainey will drive and come down the lane, gives it to Voss, up shot block, Hale. Bainey gets his own rebound, should say Voss. Voss leaves it now for Zach Green, there's a foul. 16 foul on the Waltonville Spartans, and that will go on Jordan Hale. That'll be his first. 7.41 left to go in this one. The WMAX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. Now we got here to the game as Hale gets the inbound. Waltonville goes zone on this possession, Hicks with a right wing. Now back to the middle of the floor. Loses it off his foot, and they're not going to touch it. It's going to be over and back on Carlisle. Waltonville will have the basketball. That's the start Waltonville needs for this quarter. Definitely another opportunity right now to dwindle that lead at 10, 7.30 to go here in the fourth, and Waltonville takes the ball on their side out of bounds. Hale will trigger. He'll throw it in to Rogers. Now left wing with another looking for Hale to come across. Back to Rogers, top of the key. Rogers holds, now takes one dribble, holds above his head, left wing whiz and nut, holds above his head. Now takes a couple dribbles to the top of the key to Winchester, to Rogers in the right wing. Scoreboard update upcoming, lots of scores rolling in now at this point. Widgets 
gets inside past Liz and Hunt, left block good. What a good look by Skyler, or Trey Witt. It's Skyler's out of eligibility, 39-31. Well, we saw him walk by earlier, so he was on our mind. That's right. The Iceman is in the house tonight. With the basketball top of Key Hill, throws it left wing, left corner to Hicks. Hicks covered up by Winchester, gets around him, gets to the rim, kicks it out in the corner. Here comes the three ball right wing, Hill's on the way, it's good. Wow. Just when you think you got Carlisle pinned down, they come back with some offense. 42-31 on the three. Carlisle by 11. Would you? We'll dribble to the right. Spin, pocket pick, recovered. At the right elbow extended to Rogers top of the key. He'll launch a long three. It's short. Hits the floor. Rebound Carlisle. Here comes Zachary. Leaves it for Bainey. Bainey will bring it across the timeline. Comes to the free throw line. Right wing pass now to Zachary. Top of the key. Now back to Zachary from Hill. Back out top of the key to Hicks. Hicks now loses in left corner. Now the Bainey. Three on the way. Good. Uh-oh. Carlisle starting to put some distance between they and Waltonville. 45-31. Winchester will bring it across the timeline. Widges gives it back from Winchester. And Waltonville right now looking a little bit lost offensively. They got to get it back. Widges to Rogers on the right wing. In the corner, Hale. Shot from 10. No good. Rebound tip. Rebound by Bainey. Bainey up the floor. Bounce pass over here to Zachary. Right block back out front to Hills. Carlisle reset. Five and a half to go in the game. 45-31. Waltonville down to Carlisle here at home. Skip pass now goes from the right corner to Hicks. Hicks in the left corner. Bainey traveled the basketball. Scoreboard update, girls. Scoreville leads Chester, 51-10 at the half. Scoreboard update, boys. Central over Freeburg at the half, 29-24. Oakville over Greenville at the half, in the 1-14-12. Carmi leads Benton at the end of 1-7-5. Halftime, Lawrenceville over Red Hill, 30-22. That scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. So how do you really know you got a bargain insurance is going to cost you big? Give Scott Owens a call, 242-3770, to get to a better state. Hail to Rogers. Down the lane, off the dribble, layup good. Timeout, Brian Gamber. That's a shot Waltonville needed there, Mike. Well, that's a nice strong move. Cut across that middle lane like that, catch it and strike, go up. Use that net and rim as a helper for you. Kiss it off the glass, take the two points, and move on with the timeout. Now, Brian Gamber's got to be talking about trying to do a little more pressing, half court trapping. Something of that nature to try to get the crowd back into the game a little bit. And his own players. I mean, they've been a little flat. Carlisle was able to throw over the top of that zone. I mean, the yep. skip passes were in every conceivable corner. And, boy, I'll tell you what, they knocked down two big threes with two straight possessions. And, you know, got that deficit down. Waltonville catches in now down 12. Still a lot of time to go, five minutes to go, but they need the urgency factor is creeping in a little bit right now. Come start a banking relationship at... Community First Bank, you won't be disappointed. Community First Bank of the Heartland, welcome back to Personal Banker locations in Ida Dix, Woodlawn, and two in Mount Vernon. Carlisle inbound the basketball. Waltonville's going to come with some pressure. Well, Carlisle will break it easily as Zachary brings it to the front court. Waltonville did not run that press correctly. Top of the key pass to Hill. Hill's with it to the left side. Now, lob pass back door to Zachary. Shot glass, no good. Tips around, rebound, Roger. Matt Rogers has it for Waltonville. Behind the back dribble, picks it up. Dangerous double dribble. Didn't do it, but came dangerously close. Coggins to Rogers in the front court on the right. Elbow extended. Holds above his head. Now throws it left corner. Coggins. Coggins covered up to go inside. Pass tipped. Walker stolen away. Walker. Voss recovers. Voss throws it away to Rogers. A little bit of what you can do worse. Well, we can do worse better. Rogers has the basketball. Left side, Hale. Hale goes baseline. Cut off. Right wing, Wiz and Hunt back to Rogers. He drives in, dribble drive. That's the offense to Coggins. Down the lane, kicks to Hale. Down the rim, left-handed, short, no good. Walker with the rebound. Hale looked like he thought Walker was going to come over and hammer him, and he never did, and Hale left it short. Waltville down 45-33. Left corner with it is Voss. Back out, they reverse it around. Carlisle's going to run some clock. We run here every night on the showcase, sponsored by WMX Sports Moody's Mobile Studio, driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. Carlisle has the ball, and they're taking a foul. Hale will give the foul. That's his second, team seven. That's what Waltonville's got to do at 3.45 to go. And Walt, but Brian Gamber, I can tell he's going to play man. Yeah, definitely, and I think he's just uh, reiterating the fact that when he called that timeout, he gives specific instructions here 
you know, jump in that man and then uh, press zone, jump in man, and then uh, the foul was committed. On that foul missed, it worked. Walton Bill fouled, and Carlisle didn't get the free throw. Walton Bill on the rebound, Widges. Kicked it left wing, Coggins off his hands. Back to Widges. Widges with the layup, no good. Rebound tips to the floor. Carlisle has it, and we'll have a foul. That's been the kind of night Walton Bill's had tonight. And Carlisle come to the other end and shoot free throws. Well, it is. It's just nothing has has fallen for the Spartans. Uh, you take away that first quarter when they had 17 points. Mm-hmm. They've not even reached that plateau yet. Still at 33, and we have 334 left in tonight's contest. One and one free throws made by Zachary. He'll get one more. He's got 15. Community First Bank with more Jefferson County locations than anyone else. Locally owned with decisions made here. Proud supporters of Jefferson County. Second free throw coming to Zachary is also good. He's got 16. He's a nice little player. 47-33. Waltville down 14 with 3.33 to go in the game. Stay tuned for the Sasser Auto Body Post Game Show. Scoring and stats. We'll have scores from around the area as well. Ball tipped and stolen away. Ball bounces around the floor and Carlisle has it again. And Waltville right now frustrated with himself. Here comes Hills across the timeline. He'll leave it for Zachary. Zachary kicks it left wing to Faney. In the left corner, three on the way from Zachary is good, and that's been the kind of night. Logan Zachary with 19, including five three-pointers. 50-33, Carlisle up 17. Widges gets an offensive foul. He was using the off-arm there, Mike. We had a pretty good angle of that, and we knew that uh, one of the three officials would see it that way, and the That'll go as another turnover, and that'll be the ninth here in the second half against the Spartans. And 2.58 to go. Of course, Waltonville's next game will be at Woodlawn. Mike and I will be there Friday night on AM 940 WMIX. Live streaming audio on WMIXSports.com. Waltonville, Woodlawn. First time in a long time. That's a conference game. Carlisle split the defender, struggle in the lane. Moss lost it, jump ball, and we got some heated exchanges going on of some wrapping up, some kids controlling themselves very nicely. Hard play right there, I tell you, loose ball. I mean, bodies on the floor. It looks like Andy Palmer's going to take a timeout here Time. to go at 242. Timeout, Andy Palmer, full timeout. We need to step out because we have to pause for station identification here on the showcase. This is 50,000 watts of the award-winning Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX-FM, Mount Vernon, Marion, Effingham, a Withers Broadcasting Superstation. 2.42 to go in the game. Waltonville trails Carlisle 50-33. to Benny from Whiskey and Mike Richardson alongside as the Waltonville Spartans, who were 6-0 and coming into this one, are... are going to, unless some kind of crazy happens here, Mike, it's just been a scoring drought over 12, 13 minutes for our friend Mike McManus from the Sentinel telling us that's way too long in a high school game to watch without scoring. Well, and he also alluded to the fact that that was something that we were thinking about with Widges and Hale tonight. Two out of 16 from the field. You're not going to win too many ball games, you know, uh, with that kind of shooting. And it's just been tough and they've been good looks. That's the thing. It's not been four shots. It's been good luck. Hey, sometimes they just don't fall. That's just yeah. all there is to it. And tonight's uh, one of those events. See what the Spartans can do here with this last couple of minutes. Hale quickly down the other end scores. Jordan Hale with his first field goal since the first quarter. 50-35. Waltonville pressure's on the make, and they turn it over with Carlisle. But they get it back. Walker gets it up the court to Zachary. He'll go to the rim, kicks it off the boss. Shot, no. Block Walker back out front, and that goes to Hill. Hills. At the timeline, gets the left side, Bainey, in the left corner, Walker. Walker holds, gets back out top of the key to Hill. Hills with it, guarded by Widges. Hills around Widges. A little gamesmanship going on to Bainey, right wing, off the Walker tip. Nope. He'll stay here as Rogers tips it out of bounds. That ball looked close. Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. We'll get a timeout. Andy Palmer is going to slow things down here <laughs> a little bit. I think we saw that with the hand gestures right there. It's like, you know, guys, we can uh, – we can. There's no shot clock up here yet, so uh, we can take a little time. Brian Gamber's got to use this as a learning tool as well. I mean, you played six games. You know, right now, 202, you can get yourself a goal in mind. You can tell your troops, hey, let's score 45 points. Let's do this. Let's get a set. Let's run this new play. Try something here in this and see what might actually work. Andy Palmer, obviously, as we can just read lifts. Slow down, take your time a little bit. So it is a 
little gamesmanship going on right here. It's fun. That's what it's all about. 2.02 to go in the game. Waltonville down 50-35. to 35. Stay tuned for the Sets Auto Body postgame show. Scoring and stats from this one. Some score updates around the area. Carlisle got it on the inbound and missed the layup. First one they missed all day. And here come the Waltonville Spartans. Coggins will bring it across the timeline to Rogers. Rogers with it. Will dribble down the lane against Walker and scores. Matt Rogers took it at Walker because Walker's got those four fouls. And a tip back out of bounds. Walton will tip it out. Carlisle will re-inbound. Bainey will trigger into Hill. He'll come up the left side with his left hand, fouled by Widges. That'll be four on Trey, ten on Walton. Bill should be shooting two here as Cody Hill comes to the line. Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. Scores, schedules, content daily. You can also follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We tweet all the time there in game updates and other information. Also, we're on the web at WMIXports.com. We have all kinds of things there as well. Scores, schedules, highlights, archives, everything there for you to go to. And don't forget the Saturday sports show every Saturday morning, 8.08 a.m. to 10 a.m. on a.m. 940 and stream live on WMIXports.com. One out of two for Carlisle, 51-37 on the free throw, and they stole it away from Maltonville. Brian Gamber has got it here. He's got his attention point here. Walker on the right block, kicks it across to the left block. No, they're not going to shoot it. They're going to pull it back out. Mike, this is one of those deals. Brian Gamber, if he needed any kind of focusing mechanism, as Hale gets a steal, Hale may dunk this one and lays it up over the rim and scores. Here it is. This game is it for a conference play on Friday night. Absolutely. And this is one thing we talked about in the pre how that effect would be, you know, in a non-conference game right in the middle of your conference schedule. And Walkwell will foul. That'll send Bainey to the line to shoot two. And I mean, how many times have we seen teams rally around adversity? Yep. I mean, the flu, the broken oh. arm, uh, a guy just up and leaving the program unexpected. I mean, you, you have different group of kids. They respond differently, and this team, to me, looks like they've sort of regrouped amongst themselves here this evening. And amongst the other side, if you're Brian Gamber, you've had two or three weeks here, pass on the back, great job, you're sick to know, everything's wonderful, great, roses and cherries and whatever else, and you get a loss like this as Carlisle makes one out of two and widges with a rebound, that kind of, that's kind of a wake-up call. Logan Zachary fouled 88 and three-quarters feet away from the basket, and Andy Crum Palmer's about ready to come out of his shirt and tie. It's a good thing they're not in the bonus right now, uh, Andy Palmer would add to his misery right there, but not a happy camper in no. that move right there that well, far away. Well, he was not happy. Rogers will bring it across the timeline on the right wing. Dribbles in, holds, bounce pass, give and go. Widges baseline, shot good. Timeout, Brian Gamber. 52-41 with 52.8 seconds to go. Hey, Matt Rogers had a nice ball game. Man. Yes, he has. Plays some defense, have been handling the ball a little bit out of Another assist right there. Uh, really has has played very, very well tonight. We could get another scoreboard update. In the three quarters, Red Hill leads Lawrenceville 40-33. At the half, Benton up on Carmine at home 22-16. Belleville West is within three of Belleville East as Van Ostdale has 25 points. Uh, Halftime, it's Wooden Shoes leading Effingham 16-15. Harris ones we know. We remember at the halftime hour, I should say, at the Wayne City Tournament, Sisney beat Weber Township 53-25, and also Edwards County beat Patoka tonight 74-56. That scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. Talk to your neighbors and talk to State Farm Agent Scott Owens. See why State Farm Agents remind you that State Farm insures more drivers than Geico and Progressive combined. Great service plus discounts like a good neighbor. State Farm Agent Scott Owens is there. He was here. Now he's somewhere else. Carlisle inbounds. Waltonville presses. Here come the Indians up the right side. Bainey throws it to Andy Palmer. Andy makes sure they're there in the basketball. He pounds it on the ground. Seen that move a time or two, just not on that bench here, but uh, other years on the other one. Absolutely. You are correct. Waltonville triggers in the hail. Dangerous pass from the bench to hail to three. No good. It was a bad pass from the Carlisle bench to the right wing on Waltonville's side. Hale missed the three, and they'll give the foul. It's Carlisle got the rebound. We'll march the other way like a bunch of penguins and shoot free throws. With 37.3 seconds to go. And that'll bring Tyson Bainey to the line to shoot two free throws. Tomorrow night, Woodlawn at Galatia High School Girls. 
right here on the FM on .com, WMXSports.com, streaming audio from Galatia. Pre-game around approximately 7, 15, 7, 20. Bainey makes one. He has another. 53-41. Thursday night, Chris and I go to the Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament. 7 o'clock game, Weber and ZR. 8.30 game, Wayne City Potoka. Same dial, same place right here. Bainey makes them both. We'll get to Friday and Saturday. It gets even busier. Widges coast to coast and scores without any defense. Carlisle has the clock as their friend. Carlisle gets it in. Waltville's pressuring. Here comes Bainey up the left side, back to the right to Zachary. Gets it up back to Bainey. They bring it in the front court to Hills. Hills will pull it back out. Hills is going to go near the timeline. Waltville's going to call off the dog. Good win from Carlisle here tonight to come on the road at 3-1. and one. Waltonville will end their undefeated streak to start the year at 6-0. and oh. They'll drop to 6-1. and one. Final score tonight from Waltonville. It is Carlisle 54, Waltonville 43. We'll step out for a break and come back for the Cecil Auto Body Post Game Show. Scoring and stats and maybe another score update from around the area. You're listening to Waltonville Spartans Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. I'm meteorologist John Fierk. We'll look at your next rad weather. Clear and cold tonight. Low down to 19. Bright sunshine tomorrow up to 46. Clear tomorrow night. Cold again down to 22. And sunny for Thursday. High 50. Friday partly sunny again up to 50. Saturday some rain is possible. High 54. Next rad weather from WMIX. Mount Vernon, Illinois. Hi, this is Kevin Young, commercial lender for People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. People's National Bank has served local businesses and farmers for over 100 years. With a wide variety of deposit and loan products, we have all your banking needs covered. From opening or expanding a business to purchasing a farm implement for the upcoming season, People's National Bank is here to help. Stop by today and let us show you what a true community bank can do for you. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois farmers and businesses since 1909. Member FDIC. Are you interested in a career in the culinary arts but can never afford the high cost of cooking school? Red Lake College has a low-cost recipe for success. For as little as $5,500 per year, you can get a quality culinary arts education in your own backyard. That even includes books, tuition, class fees, and supplies. Learn to master domestic fare, pastry, and foreign cuisine in Ina, Illinois. Save thousands on a culinary arts education at Rin Lake College. For more information, log on to rlc.edu slash culinary arts. How do you celebrate the new year? Dinner and movie? A party with friends? Well, how about celebrating with great deals on your favorite Ford vehicles? Hi, Roy Schmidt Ford dealer, Ford Square, Mount Vernon. As 2012 comes to a close... We want to kickstart 2013 with customer cash on Fiestas, Fusions, Focus, and Mustangs. Say big at the pump and your wallet with $1,500 customer cash on 2013 Focus Sedan and 2013 Ford Fusion. Or power up that pony with $1,750 in discounts and customer cash on a beautiful 2013 Mustang. If you're looking for a great holiday gift, you can even find a 2013 Fiesta sedan for under 15000 What an amazing way to celebrate 2013. You bring the hats and party favors, I'll bring the great deals. Come see our sales associates at Ford Square, 1501 Broadway, Mount Vernon, or see our inventory online at FordSquare.com. Sessor Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sessor Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor, or call 625-3523. That's 625-3523. This is the showcase on WMIX. The Cesar Auto Body Post Game Show starts now. Final score here from Waltonville tonight. It was Carlisle 54, Waltonville 43. You're listening into the Cesar Auto Body Post Game Show. Cesar Auto Body is pre approved by most insurance companies. This means Cesar Auto Body can get your vehicle back on the road faster next time you have a collision. See the collision pros at Cesar Auto Body, 602 South Park in Cesar. Waltonville drops to 6 and 1 on the season. Carlisle improves to 4 and 1 on the season. The showcase goes on the road tomorrow night to Galatia as the Woodlawn Lady Cardinals play the Galatia Thompsonville Bearcats. We'll be on the air approximately 720 right here on the FM side, and of course, streaming 
on WMIXports.com. Thursday night, the showcase travels to the Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament. We'll do games two and three on Thursday night. First one up is Weber and ZR at 7.30, and they're 7, and at 8.30 it's Wayne City and Patoka. That tomorrow night, or I should say on Thursday night, right here on the FM, as I check just to make sure I don't want to make a mistake, although it's already out there, right, so it is a mistake. Okay, 7 o'clock, I was right. ZR Weber, Thursday night, 8.30, Patoka, Wayne City, right here on the FM stream on WMIXports.com. On Friday night, it's a split on the FM. Cahokia versus Mount Vernon at Chagnon Gymnasium. As the Rams host, it'll be on the, it'll be on FM 94.1, as well as you can watch the game at WMIXports.com. On the AM side, Friday night, these Waltonville Spartans will travel to Woodlawn, a Midland Trail Conference game. As the Waltonville Spartans play the Woodlawn Cardinals on Friday night, AM 940, Mike Richardson and myself will be there. Live audio on the Internet, WMIXports.com. Saturday afternoon, Lady Rams basketball at Freeburg. That pregame will start approximately 2.15 or 2.20. And then, of course, that'll be on the FM. Live audio streaming on WMIXports.com. And then on Saturday night, Waterloo and C.J. Cruiser comes to town. Nashville grad, of course, comes to town to take on the Mount Vernon Rams on the FM side. Watch it on WMIXports.com. We'll step out for a break when we come back. The scoring and stats from this one as well. Maybe a scoreboard update from the round the air as we go through some games. You're listening to the Waltonville Spartans on the showcase on WMIX. Newell Furniture in Woodlawn is everyone's favorite Santa. With a wonderland of furnishings, all holiday sale price with an extra 10 to 15% off store wide. And you'll find a sleigh full of great gifts and home decor at the general store with buy one, get one half price on all your favorites. Jewelry, scarves, candle jars, salsas, and more. Plus 20% off all holiday trims, tart warmers, willow tree angels, signs, and all tarts are only a dollar. Shop Newell's for free delivery, free gift bagging, and savings galore. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois proudly welcomes Dr. Brian Steinke to their medical staff. Dr. Steinke earned his medical degree at the University of Illinois in Chicago and has degrees in anatomy and physiology from UC Berkeley, and he brings prestigious credentials to the center. Dr. Steinke is a gifted physician and contributor to orthopedic textbooks. Call 618-242-3778 or visit their informative website at orthocenter s SI.com. A coach house garage is money well spent on craftsmanship that's sure to get compliments. Don't cut corners on your garage. It adds value to your home. That's why you need to see the professionals at Coach House Garages. Choose from a variety of Coach House Garage designs or they'll build one to your design. For a dealer near you, check the yellow pages in Mount Vernon or go online to coachhousegarages.com. More than just a garage. House. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussion, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday Sports Show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need like no one else can. It's your best option this winter sports season. The Saturday Sports Show on WMIX at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. For more scores and insight, follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Now back to the showcase on WMIX. That's your auto body. It reminds you that sometimes things happen in an automobile that are beyond your control. When they do, take your vehicle to Sessor Auto Body. They can get you on the road quicker in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor. Danny Zerwinski with Mike Richardson alongside. Walton to lose tonight. To Carlisle, 54-43. I'll turn it over to Mike now for the scoring and stats of this one. Thank you very much, Danny. And for the victorious Carlisle Indians, they improved their record to 4-1 and one on the young season. In the second half, they shot it. Uh, amazing stats here when, you, when we break these down. They only took four regular shots in the ball game in that second half. Two out of four from the two-point line. Four out of six shooting behind the arc. And then they went to the free throw line 14 times, makes eight. Overall shooting for Sydney tonight, two of 11, regular. Kent of 21 from the three-point line. That's 30 points right there. 17 out of 32 overall shooting. 48% convert 10 out of 19 at the free throw line for 53%. 15 rebounds, 18 turnovers tonight. They had 12 in the second half, so they give the Spartans some opportunities, which you'll hear in a minute, the Spartans obliged and 
redid the favor there with turnovers themselves. 15 rebounds, as I mentioned. Four rebounds leading the way was Walker. He was in foul trouble most of the night for only two points in his ball game. Hicks off the bench was a spark plug, but we talked about him defensively and running the show a little bit. He had two. And then the top four players, uh, eight points for Hills, 11 for Voss, 12 for Bainey, and Logan Zachary, the junior. Boy, he shot it well tonight. A big three and a crucial point there in that third quarter. Added a couple free throws at the end. He leads the Carlisle Indians in scoring with 19. And for the Waltonville Spartans, they were 10 out of 15. Good shooting regular. They were 0 for 5 behind the arc. Uncharacteristic uh, of that. Only two free throws in that second quarter or in the second half. So their shooting totals tonight, they were 14 out of 24 regular. Only 2 of 13 behind the arc, 9 of 12 free-throwing for 75%. Field goal shooting, 16 out of 37 for 43%. Uh, Jordan Hale leading the team with 17 rebounds. As a team, he leads them with 6. But they turn it over 10 times in each half for a total of 20 turnovers from the Waltonville Spartans. Uh, Winchester off the bench with the deuce. Wisenant, he had 4 points, 6 for Hale. Eight for Rogers, ten for Coggins, and Trey Widges uh, converted them free throws. Uh, he managed seven points in the second half for 13 as he had game high honors for the Waltonville Spartans as they fall to the Carlisle Indians, Indians tonight, 54 to 43. Waltonville will play again later this week. We'll talk about that after the break. We have to come back quick. A Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game. Here on the Sets Auto Body Post Game Show. We'll take a break, come back, do that. You're listening to Walton Bill Spartans Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. I know you've heard about mortgage rates being all time lows, but have you done anything about it yet? Hi, I'm Rick Pig, mortgage lender at Community First Bank. There's never been a better time at buying a home or refinancing an existing mortgage. The sooner you act, the more you save. And we'll be there to help you through every step of the way. For more information, visit us at comfirstbank.net or stop by one of our five locations. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When an emergency happens, time is everything. And you don't want to spend that time in a waiting room. So choose Crossroads Community Hospital. With our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge, the entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner within 30 minutes of your arrival. When minutes matter, choose the ER that doesn't waste time. Choose Crossroads Community Hospital. Visit crossroadscommunityhospital.com slash faster to learn more. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, Call 911. Daily schedules, scores, and more. Find WMIX Sports on Facebook. Back to the showcase on WMIX. Walton will lose at home tonight to Carlisle. 54-43. Welcome back to Sessor Auto Body Post Game Show. They remind you to drive safe on the way home to the ninth game. Next time you have an accident, see the collision pros at Sessor Auto Body to get back on the road faster. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor. Danny Zawinski and Mike Richardson alongside, and we're at the point of the show where we have to pick the Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game, we talked about it off the air. You and I have the deciding votes, and it was unanimous. Nobody else can tell us what to do. I think you're right. Correct. Yep. Uh, the young man, four out of six, two points, 0 for three behind the arc, but uh, had some nice assists in a run when Waltville was trying to make that comeback in that in the last two or three minutes of that fourth quarter. Three rebounds and played good defense all night long, and a total of eight points in the ball game. Matt Rogers, the senior. Had a good ball game tonight for the Waltonville Spartans. Uh, they fell a little bit short tonight, but Matt Rogers is Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game. Crossroads Community Hospital reminds you why wait hours in other emergency rooms. Crossroads Community Hospital's emergency department pledges you'll be seen by a physician within 30 minutes of your arrival. Waltonville lose their first game tonight here of the year, 54-43. Mike, your thoughts on this game? We wrap it up here tonight. Well, we had mixed emotions about it after we get here and heard about some of the things that was going on with Carlisle and the. the the place was rocking pretty good here. We talked to Brian Gamber quite a bit, and you know the new excitement with a new coach and six and zero on the season already. A tournament belt under their, you know, under their belt this year so far, and the conference getting started. We wondered how that non-conference game, right in the middle of this mix with a big rival game coming up Friday, how it might affect the Spartans. And 
I'm not saying they come out flat, but they just didn't shoot the ball very well. And they had some good looks. It wasn't like they four shots. In normal offense, they shot the ball if they needed to. It just didn't fall tonight. So they fell a little bit short. Now you got both teams coming in Friday night with losses. Somebody's going to get on another winning streak. And uh, we're just looking forward to another great rival basketball game Friday night. Friday night, that'll be on the AM, AM 940 WMIX. It'll be streamed live on audio at WMIXSports.com on Friday night. Walton Bell Woodlawn at Crossroads Community Hospital Player of the Game. They remind you why wait hours in other emergency rooms. Crossroads Community Hospital's emergency department pledges you'll be seen by a physician within 30 minutes of your arrival. Follow, you can like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WMIXSports. Lots of content we put on there every day, night, and evening. Also, you can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Our next broadcast of the showcase will be tomorrow night in Galatia as the, Walton, or the Woodlawn Lady Cardinals travel to play the Galatia Thompsonville Lady Bearcats. We'll be on the air around 720 on the FM side, 94.1. Also, live audio streaming at WMIXSports.com. For our WMIX Sports team tonight, of Chris Carroll back in the studio. Mike Richardson to my left. I'm Denny Zerwinski. Final score tonight here from Waltville. Carlisle 54, Waltville 43. Thanks for listening and good night, everybody. Thank you for listening to the Jefferson County Basketball Showcase on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The showcase is also sponsored in part by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. The Collision Pros at Cesar Auto Body. Newell Furniture and the General Store in Woodlawn. Red Lake College. It's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu. And by Coach House Garages. Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. State Farm Agent Scott Owens. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And People's National Bank. For inside information before, during, and after the game, log on to WMIXSports.com or find us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. We are your home for news, talk, sports, and today's hot country. WMIX.